between these iconic hedges, the field where some of college football's greats have called home. Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia, where these fans are ready to turn the dogs loose. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Auburn Tigers, taking on the number one team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Georgia about to kick it off to get us underway. On the move from inside is five. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. So Auburn's return man hardly helped out the offense with that one. This rivalry is intense, guys, but with all of the connections between the two, it's more like a family feud more so than a bitter war. And for example, about the connections, Reese, how about Vince Dooley, longtime Georgia coach? He went to Auburn. How about great player Pat Dye, All-American at Georgia? Coaches at Auburn, the connections are real, the rivalry is real. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. Pulls and fires complete. At the 35, he's got four. And a pickup of better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. Big play is just what they needed. Now they have it first and 10 just outside the 40. He'll do it himself. Oh, big juke to get past. They've got it inside the 30. They'll mark it at the 28. It's first down. The Tiger quarterback getting it done on the ground like they've seen at Auburn in the past. And, and the great Auburn teams, it always seems like they got a quarterback with great mobility that can get first downs and it kind of sets the table for the rest of the Auburn offense. Off play action on first down. Throws toward the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown Auburn. And it feels good to land that first big punch against a rival, doesn't it? No doubt. In a game like this too, you just want to be executing it at a high level early. So David, that's got to feel great getting on the board first. And settles everyone down. All the nerves, all the emotion of this rivalry game. Now everybody can kind of settle in because you know you already got a touchdown on the board. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score comes on a touchdown pass covering 28 yards. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. So Georgia's offense will try to get something started with their first possession. And a big key as this game unfolds is just how aggressive will he be throwing the football at a lockdown corner like that. Yeah, and when you're an elite quarterback, you think you can do whatever you want to do. And you think you can make the right decisions. I'm interested to see how much he'll test that. He's going to take a shot. And he makes the catch inside the 15. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 40 yards down the field before he's finally stopped.
Aga trying to make this red zone trip pay off. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Catch in the middle. It's dealt. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. They'll give it to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's amazing how a play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you got the offense right in Zone. Touchdown Bulldogs! And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. PAT unit on the field. Bangs it through for an extra point. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. They'll knock him down after a pickup of one to the 18. Guys, only Minnesota and Wisconsin have played more often than Auburn and Georgia. This rivalry is rich in tradition. And you're right, Reese. This goes back to 1892. A long time. This game has been heated. You know a bunch of the names, a bunch of the storylines. And speaking of storylines, how about the mascot for Georgia? Literally trying to bite on Auburn wide receiver. That's how real this one. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. You know, when you go dime personnel package, you've got extra DBs in the game, so it's harder to throw if you're the quarterback. There's just not as many windows. They've got more guys in coverage. You're expecting to at least have a little bit more time, but your offensive line, man, they just couldn't hold up. Auburn sends out the punting unit. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. So from his own end zone, the punt is away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop. And now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? To the air. It's back. Throws to the wideout. Got his man on the right. They get him on the ground at the 37, but give him 15 yards on that chunk play, and they'll move the chains. The dogs pick up the first down through the air, and the Georgia faithful starting to howl and bark. 
And we've seen that in the past with Georgia. Maybe you get a little bit conservative, a little bit too much reliant on great defense, run the football. The reason that they broke through, the reason they started winning championships in the recent era, they became more aggressive, more dynamic throwing the football down the field. The Bulldogs pulled one out of the fire and beat Auburn in a close one the last time these two met. Yeah, it was a really good one in the Deep South's oldest rattle. You've seen so many great games in this matchup, and that was one of them. But Georgia came away with it, and Auburn got to think about that for a whole year. And that pass is intercepted. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. Defensive backs have tough jobs. I mean, you think about whether you play nickel, whether you play dime, whatever it is, you put more DBs on the field. It's more speed. It's more guys that can cover, but they also got to cover that ground. But to cover the ground and make the pick, a lot of times you don't see that. Superb effort by that guy. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. He just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. That last play is what you call a drive starter. They're out to the 47. It's first down. Grab behind the line. It's Coleman. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. On defense, man, it helps you a lot when you can be a linebacker or a corner or safety, anybody, and you see the QB throw the football. Now I can break on the football right away and limit gains like right here on this play. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Running back goes in motion. Looking downfield, it's Thorne. Quick strike complete. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into the game. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. Open space at the 25. Almost took it all the way there, but it's a huge gain, and they're set up with a first and goal. Third down and inches, everyone in the stadium knows they're going to be physical, and they're going to run the football, but they still executed a good level, not only picking up the first down, chewing up more yardage to make this drive even easier. And that big gainer on the last one has him ready to go from inside the 10. They'll use the running game on first and goal. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth game if I were allowed to have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the line. Just about had the pick in the end zone. Instead, it'll be fourth down. Here comes the field goal unit. And he'll boot one from the right hash. He ought to be able to navigate that angle from this distance. Oh, and he missed it. No good. And here in the first quarter, we remain tied. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. Ready to 
get another look at this Bulldog offense. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with this system. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. To the air, it's back. Working that left side now. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. The Dogs have had a long history of scrappy and efficient quarterbacks. Add a little star power to it, and you've got something working. You definitely get a little extra something, something. We see it all across college football. You find that dude at the quarterback spot. It takes you from good to great, and you've seen that with Georgia over the last several seasons. Stuffed almost in his track, but strong enough to pick up one to the 35. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's got it on the right. Tackled immediately after the catch. Nice job decision making by the quarterback there in the RPO. Not handing it off, knowing he had to throw it, but then also understanding his open guy was going to be in the right flat. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. From the gun, wants to pass. He finds a soft spot in the middle. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Oh, it's a reverse. He's knocked down in the backfield, a swarming defense, and he'll lose seven. What great discipline showed by the defense. When your job's contained, you're supposed to contain the football, not let your eyes deceive you. Ball starts to go away. Your job is to still contain the backside. Great job staying disciplined. Great win for the defense. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Back to throw. It's back. Got it set up on the outside. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. I think early in the game, you can really set the tone. You got the completion. You set up a manageable fourth down situation. Do I want to be aggressive? Do I want to show them I'm willing to go for it on fourth down? I got a great opportunity right here. Georgia sends out the punt team. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. And it looks as if there will be no return here as the punt goes out of bounds. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. We talk about settling for points, but sometimes when you have to settle for nothing, David, it can be demoralizing. Yeah, and it can definitely be frustrating. And I think it leads you to say, maybe I go for it more. But Jesse, I think this offense just needs to put another drive together and just finish stronger. Yeah, and, and be a little bit less predictable, too, especially as they get closer and closer down to the end zone. And now on second down for this offense. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. At the 40, there he goes! And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. And I tell you what, we can focus on the left side of the line of scrimmage because that's, that's where the play starts. But you don't get big gains when you run out wide unless wide receivers, yes, wide receivers, commit to blocking, staying on their guys. Really good job on the outside by giving the running back space to make the big play. To the air on first down. Got a man. It's Lambert Smith. Makes a grab and he's dragged down. 
I think really good wide receivers do a good job of making every route kind of look the same. You could tell he, he this looked like a vertical route. So if I'm a DB, I'm bailing, and all of a sudden he sits that hitch down. Nice job by the wide receiver, creating enough separation to create a positive game. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And look, this guy has some serious moves, and he tried all of them and still didn't get loose. I think you run that play so you stay out of third and long. Third and long is not where an offense ever wants to thrive. Third and medium, hey, I'm good with that. So you run that play to make sure you're set up for a good third down. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. He's close to the first down, and they're going to mark him just a little short. Well, they were counting on winning the one-on-one -on -one battle. They got the completion, but the yardage didn't work out. Yeah, and a lot of times, man, that's what I do on short yardage situations. Third and short, make my guy fall forward for a couple yards, try to get the first down, but it was a good tackle, and the receiver got absolutely nowhere after the catch. The official says no good. And after the missed field goal, guys, we are still locked up. Well, that's now the second missed field goal for this kicker. And I tell you this, you can't blame the weather for all this. This is a beautiful day. He needs to do better executing these field goals. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. After picking up a couple at second and eight. in the backfield. It's dealt. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. Grabbed in the backfield. It's dealt. They make the stop, and that'll bring the first quarter to a close. We've played one, and we are right back where we started, all tied up after the first period as we take a look at the stats. We've got a good one going here, and looking forward to keep those vibes rolling here in the second. Georgia coming out with a fresh set of downs. Looking to throw, it's back. Fires it beautifully in on the crosser. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Yeah, this defense is going to have to have a plan for this tight end, especially when he lines up in the slot, because there's a lot of different routes he can run. And because of his size and his wingspan, he's very, very difficult to cover. The give on the inside. Fights off a defender. Give him about a yard on the play. It's down at the 10. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. They'll put the tight end in motion. play action didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it and sometimes you gotta know when to give it up right as a quarterback you feel it you can't hold it that second too long when bad things can really happen you could tell the clock went off and he was throwing that puppy away boy they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal fast motion from the offense on third and long, try to convert through the air. And that one is picked off in the end zone. That's why you love veterans in this defense. They stay locked in on their rules, and he made the pick. 
And this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. And now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails, drive the ball down the field, and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But, Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. Here on second down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. He'll keep it himself. And the Tigers get the first down. Such an advantage when you have an athletic quarterback today in college football because they can help you move the sticks with their legs. Great open field running ability by this QB. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. From the gun, running back gets the gift. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Gives it to the back on the draw. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Got it in the middle. It's Burton. Coming through with that third down conversion, and they'll mark it at the 43. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. He'll pull it on the read. Got enough for the first. And he's brought down after a nice game. If I was the play caller in this offense, I would dial up plays like that a little bit more often. I love the QB-designed run game, especially with this guy, because he's special in the open field. He can make people miss. He can show you speed, and he showed you in that big game right there. They cross midfield at the 45 with a first and 10. They'll go to the ground. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. The give from the gun. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And that's a great play by the defensive end. The best athletes on the field play defensive end. You can ask anybody. Yes, I agree, Jesse Reese. See, they agree with me. Same thing. But you watch them get off the football, make the play. That's why you put your athletes there. About to snap it for the eighth time on this drive, and it's a third down and four. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. Well, on third and short in field goal range, they dial up the pass play. Quarterback was trying to get through his progressions. There was just simply nobody open. Couldn't make an accurate enough throw. Ball falls incomplete. Now setting up a big decision here on fourth down. So they're going to send out the field goal unit to try a long one. What a disappointment. No good. After that failed field goal attempt, fellas, still tie ball game. And man, this kicker is now 0 for 3 in this game, guys. Nine points. He's cost his own team. You got to wonder what his confidence is like right now. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. 
That last drive was promising for a while, but you just can't mess it up at the end with the pick, Jesse. No, you got to be able to finish drives, especially in this game, if you're going to win. And, David, they've got to be able to eliminate the mental mistakes. Yeah, and I don't think you get conservative or play it safe. You can trust your guy. I think you put the ball right back in his hands and let him do his thing. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Motion from the offense. Keeps it on the bootleg, looking to throw. Grabbed in the middle, it's Young. And perhaps a touchdown saving tackle as he gets him down at the 37. That's an absolute strike right there, giving me some Stetson Bennett vibes, some Aaron Murray vibes, even Matthew Stafford with the arm talent on that throw. I'll tell you, they can attack any spot of the field in the passing game because of this guy's talent. Hands it off. They work that running game down to the 34. Let's give him three on the carry. Now that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Got three on first down at second and seven. Dropping back, it's back. Finds his tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? Well, you hear all the time that the tight end's the QB's best friend. You saw a perfect example of it on that last play, right? Second down, you need to pick up some positive yards to keep this third down manageable. Really nice job of executing that. They probably feel good about their field goal chances from the 29, but they'd love to convert this third and short. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? They'll play it safe and try for three. And this will be a bit of a challenge, a 46-yard attempt from the right hatch. And it's right down the boulevard. And with that field goal, they now have the lead. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. Snags a quick pass on the left. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands, get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. This offense has a second down play. Dropping back, it's Thorne. Quickly out to the tight end. I think that time offensively, you're just trying to take what the defense is giving you, right? They're playing zone coverage. you got your big fellow just working right over the ball. It's an easy pitch and catch. Just take the profit, and let's keep going. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. The Tigers will keep this drive going. Yeah, a nice job dialing up that short yardage situation play call there, David. They needed one yard, and they picked up two. Yeah, great job up front. Great job by the back knowing where they need to go. Nice having a hole you can get through and not have to just do it all on your own as a running back. Here comes Auburn to the line on first and ten. They'll give it to him again. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Gets it out fast. 
And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. And on that outbreaking route, really it's designed for the receiver to make the catch before falling out of bounds. Nice timing and anticipation by the quarterback on that throw. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. Trying to pick it up on the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, I think the running back kind of went rogue on that last running play. I'm not sure it was designed to go that direction. He tried to make it happen on his own, and unfortunately ended up losing yards. Auburn's going to have to send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Looking for a block. It's Evans. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. Man, I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. They give it to him again. Sweet cut there. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. And as an offensive coordinator, you don't need the perfect play with this guy as your running back. He's going to make the play perfect for you because he makes everybody miss. Spin moves, hurdles, stiff arms, speed, whatever it takes to move the sticks and score touchdowns. To the air, it's back. He's right on target. Good pick up there. They'll move the chains in their setup at the 41. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. They'll put it in play from the 41 on first down. Caught in the backfield. It's dealt. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route running. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots and zones. You've got to get him involved. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. He's got it. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Man, this quarterback is having himself a day. Over 200 yards in the first half. It was hard enough for Palmer to get over 200 in a game, more or less in the first half. From the red zone, it's Etienne. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. looking to throw into the end zone can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line good job in coverage defending their own end zone there because you're trying to compress these windows and make it tough for the quarterback and they were able to tip that one up in the air and obviously it falls incomplete boy they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal wide receiver shows motion on third and long, he has to throw for it. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. And they didn't have to blitz. They brought in the dime package, more speed on the field so we can cover in the back end, and then let the D-line do what great D-line do. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. And he's already made one. The holder will put it down at the 26 for a 36-yard try. It's good.
They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Going to run it. It's Hunter. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And when you play defensive end, it's all about getting off the football. You can tell, gets off the football really fast, gets in the backfield, gets the running back before he knows what hit him. What a play by the defensive end. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. Looking downfield, it's Thorne. They've got the screen set up. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. Auburn sends out the punting unit. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Running it back, it's Evans. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Well, you wonder if the defense has started to figure it out finally here. In the first half, this guy has been absolutely lighting you up. And finally, they get some bodies back there anticipating the QB to look his way to force an incompletion. They'll throw again after the incompletion. And he can't escape, and down he goes. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. From the gun, the ground game. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. Georgia lining up to punt it away. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. On the return, it's Scott. Coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. Offense set on first down. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. And it was worth the gamble, but the long pass is incomplete. Long incompletions are okay. We got to take shots. You got to make big plays in college football. I love that you're taking shots. Keep taking them. Some of those are going to come home. Some of them aren't. But when they come home, they equal big time points. Now second and ten. Looking to pass. It's Thorne. Unloads to the wideout. Complete downfield. Nice pick up there. Gets him the first down and sets him up at the 45-yard line. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. He'll come out throwing on first down. Oh, what a caught! All the way down to the 25-yard line. They move the sticks. It's first down. Well, and a nice job working the middle of the field. I think it's so important to keep defenses honest, and you can't just dink and dunk outside. you got to work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver over the middle of the field. The Tigers will line it up on first and 10. He wants to throw. Pressure is on the way, and the pressure has arrived, and down he goes at the 30. Man, it didn't take long for the defense to get home on that play. You see them playing man coverage in the back end, slowing down the routes from the receivers and the rest of the offense. That forced the quarterback to have to hold on to it for just a split second longer, and they were able to get the sack. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. 
He's looking to throw. Coming after him. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. And whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved and I'm on defense because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication and it can really rattle an offense. So here comes the field goal unit again and this phase of the game has been an absolute disaster. As someone once said, from way downtown, bang, outside of 60 yards. Now look, you don't see kickers on highlight tapes too often. That 61-yard field goal is going to make every highlight reel in the country. Wow. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. They'll come out and take a knee, and that should send us to halftime. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin and our halftime update. Men, all the tradition and bad blood between these programs, it's all kind of come to a boil today in a spirited first half in this battle between the Tigers and Dogs. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working. And I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the fight between Auburn and Georgia plays out. Auburn ready to boot it deep to start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. They'll open the second half on the ground. They shut it down quickly, but he gets two out to the 18. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Takes the handoff. It's Etienne. Able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. Now facing a third and long. Looking for a man. It's back. Fires to the middle. Got his man downfield. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. That is going to drive this defensive coordinator nuts. A lot of DCs, they focus a ton of energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. If this defense gives up a couple more third down conversions like that, they're going to be in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. Looking to move it through the air. Catch in the middle. It's Lovett. Makes the catch, and he's brought down. The defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Give to the running back. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Well, this is a defense that we know takes tons of pride stopping the run. That's where it all starts and ends with them, and you saw a great effort on that last play. 
This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. Wide out in motion. Looking to throw on third. He's taking the shot. And trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. Really nice play by the defender, being in a good position for that deep ball down the field, not letting the receiver put his big body on him, go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that thing tipped to another defender, and it was an interception, but great coverage by the defender. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. Yeah, and listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. They just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker who is so important to this team. Keeps it and gets past the chains. And they'll spot it at the 45. That's good enough for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. To the air, it's Thorne. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Oh, looks as if the defense got it. And the quarterback just ran out of time there, and they were able to knock it free. Quarterbacks have got to do a great job keeping two hands on the football, especially in passing situations like that, because you know defenders are swatting at the ball. Even if you can't see them, these guys, they're 6'5", 6 6'6", 6 6, they've got long arms. They're trying to rip and tug away and get that ball out of your hands. A QB will learn from this play. He's got to do a better job of this fun than From the gun, he leaves it with the bat. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Awesome job up front by this defensive line. Being so good at the point of attack and eating blocks, eating some double teams that allows these linebackers to run free, unencumbered, and get to the football. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Looking for space. It's ETN. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Always a welcome play for the defense as they get a sack at the 47. Well, this is a quarterback who's not known for his running ability, obviously. We've seen him make some great throws, but mobility, that's probably not on your bingo card. And You saw it right there. He gets brought down for the sack. Georgia sends out the punt team. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. Hand off from the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, you live by the blitz, you die by the blitz. That time, the defense called it at the perfect time. The linebacker able to make the stop on a short game. And from the offense's perspective, that's probably uh, making a little something out of nothing. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Dropping back, it's Thorne. Pressure coming. Safe completion on the screen. <clears throat> They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. And there you go. You see, you don't have to throw bombs to get big plays in the passing game. Just screen it to your running back. As soon as he catches it, he gets upfield. And how about the downfield blocking by these linemen and the wide receivers as they rip off that explosive play? Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. 
makes the catch inside the 25. And he's brought down after a huge completion. And how about the big strike down the field? I love when offenses take shots down the field, try to make big plays. Now they're set up in the red zone. And the Tigers in the hurry up. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. Quarterback feeling the pressure, and down he goes at the 22. If there's ever been a position group that sort of identifies with the team's mascot, it would be the bulldog mentality of this Georgia front. Those hunkering down dogs up front, they got to hunker down and stop the run and be physical, and then go, and guess what? It gets into passing situations. Now I'm quick. Now I'm on the edge. Now I'm making that quarterback's life a living you-know-what. That is the last thing you want on first down as an offensive sack. Now it's second down. Determined effort to pick up six and get it inside the red zone and down to the 16. When you're a defense, it is stop the run first. That is your first responsibility. It makes the whole game easy. And right now, they've got it going on the ground. The defense is going to have to change something up. These little tiny dink and dunk, dink and dunk. You keep doing this, they'll go all the way down the field on you. So you might want to get a little bit more aggressive. Let's it fly deep downfield. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look. They're third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. And the field goal unit is going to give it another try. The old college try. Just keep kicking. Surely one will go in. That is no good. And after the miss, they're still down by a field goal. This has been an absolute nightmare from a special team standpoint. That is now their fourth missed field goal. They have literally left 12 points on the board. This head coach can't believe what's going on right now. If they lose this game, this is what they're going to point to. On first down, here comes this offense. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And he's brought down after a nice game. They've got a first and ten at the thirty four. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Now on second and short. Scanning the field, it's back. Get it out on the screen. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. That is a really good-looking throw. You think about the expectation level now for quarterbacks at Georgia. Matthew Stafford was the number one pick overall. Stetson Bennett won two national championships. Imagine the pressure on this guy. But when you see throws like that, he makes you believe that he can step up and lead this team to yet another natty. Looking to the big tight end. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. You can tell this quarterback did his homework coming into this game. He has been dissecting this defense with his arm and his mind. Over 300 yards passing now. Georgia ready to dial it up on another first down. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. First down here for the offense. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. And here's a great example of living to play another day. QB in the pocket, nobody open. Throw it out of bounds. 
And here comes the offense on second down. Back to the air one more time. A little screen to the running back. He breaks a tackle. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. You know, it's funny. I know running backs oftentimes are afterthoughts when it comes to the passing game, but when you think about it, this guy's been making people miss his entire life taking hand -over. So why wouldn't you try to get him involved in the passing game as well? You just saw in that last play how dangerous he is after the catch. Looking for a man. It's Beck. Fires to the wideout. Got a man in the middle. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. And that is a huge conversion on third and long for the offense. I think a lot of people thinking, hey, we're just going to try to get a couple yards, help our kicker out here to kick a field goal. But instead, they get a massive play, and now all of a sudden, they're thinking touchdown here, first and goal. He's looking to throw, feeling some heat. And to get rid of it quickly. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Quarterbacks need time when they're in the pocket to complete throws. That QB had no shot after taking that hit. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Movement here from the tight end. Off the play fake. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, dog. And diving catches always look sweet, but they look even sweeter when it's for a touchdown. That's shades of Desmond Howard back in the day winning a Heisman Trophy and making catches against Notre Dame. That was unbelievable. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. So a drive there of 85 yards, and they finish things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, David. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like... Football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. To throw, it's Thorne. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. These defensive linemen have tents in the backfield. Goodness gracious, they're camping out back there, hitting the quarterback time and time again. When you've sacked him this much, of course he's going to be flustered. Of course he wants to get rid of the football. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Picked off. He'll try to take it back. He's at the 30. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Georgia. How about that D coming up with a play like that? The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he did the pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too. Now, look at this. I show you, I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split them out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back, brother. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they now have a three-possession lead at 17. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. 
He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the returner will be brought down. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. Trailing now by 17, David, this is an opportunity that they need to answer. And down by 17, it's not panic mode yet. Like, I know we just gave up some points and our defense hasn't played great. I think this offense can still be who they are and stay consistent. No doubt, lots of football to go, but you do get the feeling this is the time of game where, you know, it could get bad. If you don't score and all of a sudden they get the ball back, they take it down the field and put some points up, this thing might be over. So absolutely, this quarterback, he wants to drive this offense down the field and at least put something on the board. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And that option game can be tricky, right? But nice job by the defense playing assignment football. And watch the linebacker. You can tell. Locked in on the quarterback. Chases him down. Gets to him. And not only gets to him, doesn't let him break a tackle. Gets him on the ground. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Going to take a shot. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. Well, at this juncture in the game, with how the scoreboard looks, no question this offense is going to have to throw to get back in the game. And it's going to be tricky now because the defense is expecting it. You're going to throw into a lot of big zone coverages with everybody's eyes on the quarterback. Not going to be easy. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. That's usually prime return position, but... He'll make the fair catch just outside the 40. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Leaves it with the running back. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. They're getting this guy lathered up. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. We've been treated to an aerial show by these two guys so far as you check out their numbers. One more quarter to go, and it looks as if we are ready to play. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. The give to the back. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. Now on third down for this offense. Looking to throw its back. Deep shot for the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs! And the punishment has been extended. They've extended this lead, guys, but sometimes in a rivalry game, you get down and you fight back that much harder. Man, you've seen crazy comebacks and crazy swings of momentum in rivalry games. You just need that first thing to break your way, Paul. I think it really comes down to their key playmakers, David. They can come back, but these guys need to take ownership. Now's the time. In this type of game, they have got to step up and start making plays. Lining up to add another. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the score comes on a pass from 40 yards out. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. They'll throw it on first down. Grabbed behind the line, it's Hunter. And the defense coming with bad intentions. They knock him down for a loss. Well, there was really nowhere to go for the quarterback with that football. He's just trying to check it down to his running back, and the defense was there, and they made the play. 
That first down was rather unproductive. Let's see what they've got on second down from the 16. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and 10. And the pass is intercepted. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back trying to get to the quarterback. And DBs are trying to do this. Add them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this DB. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Give to the back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. He'll try it again. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. It's a nice game, but the big theme here is they just haven't been able to get the run game going on offense. They've been very one-dimensional, and they're just not being physical enough at the point of attack. Here on third down for this offense. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. This is an offense that really sees their identity as being able to run the football. Nice job there picking up the first down. The dogs come to the line with a new set of downs. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. You got to give the coaching staff credit because they really do focus all season long on situational football with the lead late in the game. If we're on offense, we're trying to stay in bounds. We're trying to bleed the clock. And after ripping off a really nice run, that guy knew I've got to get down. I cannot get pushed out of bounds, cannot get tackled out of bounds. Really, really nice job. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. All right, nothing flashy there. He just did what it took to get the first down. Georgia going back to work with another first down. They go to the ground. Tough sledding there as he picks up one to the 29. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They move the tight end all over. Trying to surprise him with the pass. Time running out, and he goes down at the 34. I think if you're the head coach here, it's a bit of a mixed reaction to your passing attack so far in this game. You've put up a bunch of yards throwing the football. You've lit up the scoreboard, but you've also given up four sacks. Pass protection has been a problem so far in this game. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. On the run, it's ETN. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. So here comes the field goal unit. They've been doing work today. They've already made a couple. He'll swing that big leg for three from 44 yards out. It's good. Easy call for the rep. And that lead grows even bigger.
They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. One of the most valuable things a quarterback can have, David, short-term memory. Just forget that last pick. You're dang right. Clear the mechanism. It's over. Move it behind you. Some players can't do that real well, and it leads to more mistakes, Jesse. you got to just forget about it and move on. And I think the coaching staff can help him too, David. I think you can get the running game going here and also give him some easy throws. They need something that goes forward this time on second and long from the 14. Back to throw. It's Thorne. Trying to make magic on the scramble. They get him down after the scramble, but he's able to pick up a few and turn it into a positive play. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. On third down, going up top. He'll take a deep shot here. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Tigers. Well, I'm not sure who was closer to the receiver there, the defensive backs or us here in the booth. <laughs> that was great execution on offense. Receiver wins the route one-on-one, -on -one, shows off his speed, gets himself wide open. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that ball. Nice job. He'll try to tack on one more. Right down the middle. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the capper was a bolt of lightning. A touchdown pass from 84 yards out. They probably need one more score to feel like they're back in this game. Down by 20 as they're set to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack, get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Out of the gun. The inside handoff to the running back. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Great job of contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened there. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. Now the play fake. Throws to the wideout. And it's picked off for the third time today. Even with minimal gain on the return, they're working with a short field from the 36. So you're saying there's a chance, Reese. I know it's not a big chance, but you got the ball back now. Maybe your offense can get hot. You can create some turnovers, maybe get an onside kick. Who knows? I'm saying there's a chance. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. Wants to throw. It's Thorne. Flips it out in the flat. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. Here's the deal. You're down three possessions. You know, it doesn't feel likely they're going to come back and win, but we've seen crazier stuff happen in college football. It all starts with a big completion on a two-minute drive. They'll get the momentum started in your direction. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Fairweather. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. 
Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Quarterback on the keeper. They knock him down, but not before he picks up a first down for Auburn. How great is it to be an offensive coordinator having a quarterback like this? Because he can go and generate first downs with you, throwing the ball and running the ball. It seems like there's nothing this kid can't do. Auburn ready to go back to work after getting another first down. He's looking to throw it. Let's it go. Got it. And he will score. Touchdown, Auburn. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being carved. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We gotta figure something out. We gotta try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Smashes it through for the PAT. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish things up with a dart from 24 yards out. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Using his legs at CTN. Picks his way ahead, pick up a three, and gets it to the 20-yard line. And every coach in America has a plan for this situation. The first four minutes of the game, the last four minutes of a game. How I'm going to construct my offense. Most of the time, i got to be physical. Run the football like right here. Run that clock. Get a few first downs, and I can end this football game on offense. Off the bootleg and rolling out. He makes a catch. And he was loose and out the gate and doesn't go down until he gets to the 48-yard line. I think most offenses around the country in a situation like this with the lead late would be trying to run the football, right, or throw it short and try to bleed the clock. But this offense, man, it's still pedal to the metal. They're looking for chunk play opportunities. They were backed up, and then suddenly they weren't. They've got it first and 10 now inside the 50. They'll run it to keep the clock moving. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Boy, there wasn't much room to wiggle for that running back there. None at all. Great job by the defense getting in the backfield quickly, closing up all the holes, nowhere to run. Clock continues to run, and they'll be happy to wind it all the way down before they snap it. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. At the 35, he's open. They make the tackle at the 33, but he's ripped off 15 yards and picked up a first down. And that's another productive run. This offense has had a bunch of them today, and the running back, I think this lead was built on this guy. He's done a great job all game long setting the tone, and I think that's why this offense has been successful. This Georgia offense moving quickly down the field. To the ground with the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Handoff to the single running back. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Gonna run it. It's ETN. Just outside the red zone, as they pick up the first down, they'll spot it at the 22. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. 
And the quarterback will just drop to a knee. 